Hi guys, how are you? It feels so weird talking in front of a camera because I think I haven't been like vlogging for maybe like a month now since I last was in Greece, which is crazy because I was actually in such a good space and I wasn't really enjoying doing it. I was feeling a lot more comfortable with like talking in front of the camera and then it just all kind of went backtrack and I, I've kept like delaying it and just delaying the process of just coming back to here but I figured it's gotta, gotta start somewhere again and so today is the perfect day because I have quite of a busy schedule in terms of like I have to go out and run some errands which I'm gonna take you with me and then like I have two events in the evening so figure we might as well start like a weekly vlog and we'll see how it goes but yeah i have to go to westfield and pick up like my a uniqlo order that i did yesterday because there's quite a few things that i like there and i'm thinking maybe of making a video with that and then it's also my friend's birthday tomorrow so since i'm there i might as well look around the stores and see if i can find something for her if not i think i'm just going to go ahead and book um like a restaurant that she likes and we can just have a nice chill dinner an outfit of the day I'm wearing a Farah shirt, which I've actually owned this for like two years now and I have not worn it. I really like the nautical vibes of it, it goes so well with the rainy weather that we've been having in London recently. But today is actually sunny, so I figure I might as well go out with swords and everything. So I'm wearing my Samsung Samsa sword, it's one of my favorite swords. And then, and my shoes, I have my... Balenciaga Triple S, which look gross. I need to have them clean, but I've still not done that. I'm kind of scared to do it because I've spent so much money on these shoes and I cannot really trust somebody to clean them because what if they ruin them? But then I clearly cannot do it myself. I've tried, but I don't think a sponge will work anymore. So I'm really torn of what I should do with that. But anyways, enough of the rambling. It's already four minutes that I've been talking. <laughs> The goods, ready to go. First stop, stop, stop because what else is stranded? You can get for 24 year old girl. I'm so confused. I don't even know why I'm here. I'm trying stuff for myself. This is kind of good though. Maybe? I really like this one though. Should not be shopping today. So I'm gonna call that a success, kind of. I picked up two things for my friend and I picked up the Uniqlo order that I wanted to. I was not listening. That place was a mess. There were so many things and it took me so long. And hence why I had to stop by Pred and get a sandwich because I don't have time to do anything anymore. And I need to get ready and go to the other events. So, I'm gonna finish this, get ready, and then I'll see you in the Penhaligos event. Why so dirty? Ooh. Okay, so all changed. Well, actually, I just changed my shirt. I'm wearing my Sandro blue shirt, and then I kept everything the same from what I was wearing in the morning. But now I am on my way to the Penhaligon store in Covent Garden. They recently refurbished it, and I think I'm gonna have a like a fragrance profiling. So what they really do there is they ask a few questions and just about what you like, your lifestyle, like the fabrics you like. Anything really from like your travel aspirations to just a lot, a lot, a lot of questions. But then they actually match you with uh, what fragrance they think that you may like the most. I think I may have done that a few years ago, but now they have a lot more perfumes in the range. They've actually released I think maybe four to five since I last was at a Halligan's event. So I'm excited to try them out because it is one of my favorite like perfume brands and yeah. I don't think I will be going to the second event after all because unfortunately my friend was not feeling very well since he can't me and it's mostly like 
a summer party so it just wouldn't make sense going by myself but that is alright it was actually quite far away from Central where I usually go to it was in the Clapham area and I'd rather stay in Central so let's go to Penhaligans then Circus in the Magnum store where we're going to have like a set stable experience. We have a new chocolate there, Ruby chocolate, which I'm sure you probably know. It's at least new type of chocolate they invented two years ago and now it is available in the Magnum store here in London to try out. And I think I've maybe had it once like in a kit cut. I think Nestle had the rights for it the first few years, but I'm really excited to try it. I've never really tried it on ice cream, I've never heard a couple of ruby chocolate ice cream before so I'm pretty excited to give it a go and see how it tastes but the store here actually is pretty cool so I'm just gonna show you around and then we can hopefully go into the van and get some chocolate Did I set the did I set the bar that high? Yeah, really okay. <laughs> well, I may be wonky, but let me try. Let me try. Okay, hi. Sorry for the mess. I am leaving. I'm going to Greece in a few hours, so I need to leave the house in a bit. But I figured that maybe this is now the time to end this vlog. And I know it's just been all over the place, really, but. Yeah, I've been quite busy the past few weeks and I didn't really have that many exciting events happening So it's kind of like a two weekly vlog But now I'm leaving so I don't think I will continue vlogging because I'm Going back to see my family and like my brother is going to be a godfather for the second time So I'm going there for the baptism And yeah, it's just probably not as interesting as I mean, it doesn't sound interesting at all. So yeah, it's not interesting. So I'm not going to be filming any of that. But I figure I've not shown you what I got from Halligan. So I ended up getting the Endymion fragrance. And it's actually a lot different from the other Halligans. If you know and you follow me, uh, you probably are aware that I have a lot of Halligan's perfumes. But I usually go for like musky, just leathery, woody notes. Kind of like oriental and exotic. But I figured that it's summer. I want to change it up, I want to have something fresh and something different and I actually went through a quick profiling session and we ended up with this one which I love the fragrance and it's one of their best selling perfumes it just smells very... the word they use, it's just very like captivating and just very just attractive and I do think so as well I'm just gonna tell you a few of the notes because that's always important the head notes would be bergamot lavender sage then there's a bit of sweat sweat and geranium and heart notes and then there's a leather incense and nutmeg base note it smells really really nice i have not opened it yet i think i'm gonna keep it for a bit because well the summer is almost over and, and i already have the halfetti open from their collection and then the blazing mr sam i have um, the radcliffe one from the Portraits collection, so I have a few perfumes that I've just like been changing it up, and then I have the Santal 33. Yeah, okay, I have a lot of perfumes. Is my 
thing. Why am I rambling again? I think I'm just going to keep this for maybe next summer or I don't know how long I'll be able to resist myself, but I'm going to try. And yeah, I guess that is kind of it. I'm in a hurry and I need to go. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.